Hi, welcome to the part 2 of this video series. We are looking at AZ104 real exam questions. Please subscribe to my channel. This channel is dedicated to help you clear cloud certifications. Please focus on the concepts explained. Let's jump into the questions. Question 3. It's similar question like question 2. There are multiple VMs and each VM will have a public and private subnet. What the question says is inbound and outbound security rules will be identical. So these VMs will have similar inbound and outbound rules. So if I create one rule or one security group, it should apply to all because it's identical. So the answer here is one security group. The key to answer this was this line. Let's look at question 4. So you have several VMs which run on Windows and one VM is backed up daily. So if this VM, VM5, it gets corrupted due to whatever reason is explained in the question, we need to restore from the backup. And the question says what is true. The first one says you can only recover files to infected VM. No, that's not the case. Why will we you know, recover to the infected VM? We'll have to clear the VM and then recover it. So that's not ideal. B says you can recover to any VMs. Yes. So we can recover to any of the other blue VMs. So the green one is infected. We can recover to a blue VM. It says you can recover to a new VM. That means apart from instead of you know using these blue VMs, we'll create a new VM. Not required. You already have blue VMs. And this one says you cannot recover the files, that's wrong. As your backup instance store. The whole purpose of this is the backup instance restore is to backup and restore. So this is correct. Let's look at question 5. So basically, in this question, you want to identify performance issues due to and pertaining to the metrics of the infrastructure. Metrics is the key here. So we know this is the key. Let's look at different options. Traffic analysis. See, traffic analytics is for traffic flow. So why are the NSG? That is a security group. Who is logging in? Who is accessing what? This all will be logged here. This is primarily related to traffic flow. We want features which are related to metrics. A is wrong. Let's look at B. Azure monitor. The Azure monitor is all about metrics. Okay. So this is the right tool. Primarily we use monitor because we want to collect analyze and act on the telemetry of your cloud or on-premises environment also so this is the right answer let's look at activity log see activity log primarily we use for tracking the configuration changes for example when a resource is modified or when a virtual machine is started and so on it is used to track substation level events since we want things related to metrics, activity log will not work let's look at option d advisor See, advisor will advise you just like your CA, Chartered Accountant, advises you for filing taxes. It will advise you for best practices for optimizing your Azure deployments. It has nothing to do with metrics. We will lock this and move forward. Let's look at question 6. See, whatever the question says, the root cause, you, the problem here is you want to sync your on-prem AD with Azure AD. And to sync, they have given a solution to restart net logon service. So what is a net logon service? Primarily, it is a authentication mechanism. So when you log in, this service will verify the login request and it will perform authentication. This service is not used for sync up. This is a sync up use case the answer is no in this case 